Hello everybody and welcome to the sanctuary here at First Presbyterian Church. Uh, we're right around noon on Thursday the 18th of June 2020 and uh, we've returned here to our beautiful uh, Giesecke organ owned by the Evansville chapter of the American Guild of Organists and uh, lovingly housed here at First Presbyterian Church in the front right hand corner of our main sanctuary. I've mentioned before it was made here in Evansville by Edmund Giesecke, who was Evansville's own organ builder from around 1872, um, and he stopped building organs around 1918 and died of the flu on Christmas Day in 1928. He's buried in Oak Hill Cemetery uh, with his wife, and his daughter Elsie is there as well. The instrument has uh, one keyboard, and 25 pedals from uh, C on the bottom to C on the top and it is offset to the right by about a third so it's quite challenging for those of us who are accustomed to sort of more standard uh, pedal boards. It has six stops in the manual uh, starting with uh, an eight foot flute inside has an alluring string called the gamba, which is a, a narrow scale, a bit more nasal. And then it has a principal chorus, starting with the eight foot principal, and a four foot octave, a two foot, and also, interestingly, on an instrument of this size in this era, era, it has a quint or a twelfth uh, in the manual as well, two and two thirds. Which sounds an octave and a fifth above the main eight foot and uh, ordinary pitch. We're going to continue our exploration of J.S. Bach's two part inventions, uh, starting today with invention number nine in F minor, played on the Gedekt.
Moving to the invention number 10 in G major, uh, there is some speculation, and it's actually believed that this was written by one of Bach's sons. Uh, Bach used these pieces uh, in, an, in an instructional way um, uh, with a preface that says, you know, this is really how you should learn. Uh, these were the basics of composition. And it's thought that this one was written by Wilhelm Friedman Bach, and uh, in some other cases in the manuscript, they think that other children of Bach wrote some of them, but he made changes to them. Uh, but it's thought that Bach was suitably impressed with this one, that he didn't make any changes to one of his son's pieces. Interestingly enough, it quotes from uh, Jesu Heart, uh, Joy of Man's Desiring. And I'm going to play it in the, um, not in the original key, but listen for this part here. Starting now. That actually appears uh, in this invention, uh, almost a direct quotation from the end of the, the main melody of the chorale prelude we know so well. Uh, maybe that's what uh, inspired Bach not to correct or make any changes in his son's sort of academic and learning work. So here is the uh, invention in G major, and I'm going to play it on the four-foot principle alone. It's a, it's a sound we haven't heard on its own, but it works uh, very well, and is a bridge between the sort of full-bodied sound of the eight-foot principle and the much lighter, softer sounds of the shorter pipes inside of the two and the quint. So, invention in G major. experience has told me that I should check to make sure we're still working here and it does look like we are still live. Good news. Moving on now to the Italian composer Enrico Bossi, um, writing in what we would commonly term the Romantic period. Uh, this is a short piece uh, called Resignation. It's really written for a much larger organ than this one, um, but the sounds I think work particularly well. It's curiously written in 3-2, but a lot of the uh, movement of the voices doesn't really do that. It's almost hard to tell where we are in the measure sometimes, but I'll do my best to lead us along. And um, a lot of the time we'll be using the gamba and the gadak, the flute together, and uh, also joining in with the principal a little bit later on, which will be the fuller sound.
thought it might be fun now to do a little improvising. Um, I'm actually not sure exactly what I was going to do, but um, I had another piece in mind, uh, but I decided at the last minute that it's not quite ready for public consumption. Um, so I'm going to uh, make up a, just a sort of jolly little tune, uh, hopefully, and uh, I hope it goes well. And now some music by a composer who has definitely influenced my own improvisations and harmonic language, uh, the composer Jean Langlais. Uh, highly influential and uh, many, many students uh, went to study with him in Paris uh, at the height of his career in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and uh, he died, I believe, in 1991 or thereabouts. Um, he was blind from birth and uh, was eventually the organist at Saint Clotilde in Paris. Uh, he had an encyclopedic uh, memory and uh, could even play back exactly what students had just played or, or improvised and uh, could tell if you were using the correct fingering somehow. Um, he would also ride uh, the, the, the bus down the street with students and tell them, give them detailed descriptions of all of the buildings that they were passing between his home and, and the church. So this is taken from ten pieces, 
uh, ten small pieces of, of, of modest scale. It's really designed for a three manual instrument instead of a one manual instrument. And I'm going to play two pieces from this collection. The first one is called Flutes. And finally for today, Longley, with a bit of a twinkle in his eye, in a piece called Pasticcio. Again, it's designed for a much larger organ uh, than just the uh, six manual stops we have available here. But I think this little Giesecke organ can definitely pull this off. Um, the opening sound, or the softest sound, is going to be the gamba with the two foot and the two and two thirds and they've got this um, sort of cheeky little grin to them and um, a kind of spiky um, sound whilst being a little bit unusual. A contrasting sound then is to substitute the, the eight foot flute for the quint and then there are various other combinations. Uh, so we'll really get to hear lots and lots of colours out of our dainty little Giesecke organ. I'm just going to check that the time is good and that we're working. Yes, we are. And uh, this will be the last piece on the program today, so I hope it lifts your spirits. Pasticcio, he's definitely making fun of medieval composers, um, their rhythms, and uh, all sorts of things are going on in here.
thanks for joining me everybody. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at our worship services live streamed here on Facebook on Sunday mornings at 8.30 and 10.30 a.m. And I will be back next Thursday at noon for another live concert. Thanks again for joining me and have a great day. <laughs>